Hi, I'm John Perkins. And I'm Craig Bell. Hey, John, I've been working out trying to get in better shape. Yeah? Yeah, actually, I've been doing this for about three weeks. I've taken a five-pound potato sack in each hand, and I hold them out as long as I can with my arms straight. Really? See how long I can hold them. Yeah, it's going pretty well. In fact, it's going so well, I think I'm going to start adding potatoes to the sacks. So you don't think that's going to work, John? I don't think so. You think I need to rethink the way I'm working out, huh? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that need to rethink some things in their lives because they, what they were doing wasn't working. Now, of course, I'm kidding about the potatoes. That's not true, but, you know. <laughs> Funny thought, huh? But, you know, a lot of people are doing things the certain way that needs to be rethought in their lives. And uh, the Bible calls that word repentance. Repentance is not to come cry, pray, get up, go on about your day. Repentance is actually a changing a of change. your mind. Where you change your mind, you start thinking differently. John the Baptist preached in Matthew chapter 3, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he's He's saying there, something's about to change. We're going to have to think differently about what's happening here because Jesus was coming on the scene. Repentance is something that, that a lot of people don't take part of like they should. You know, they, they think they have, but they haven't changed their thinking towards their sin. That's the difference, Brother Craig, between religion and salvation. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 4, and verse 17, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Second Peter 3 and 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. When you come to Christ, you have to rethink the way you were doing things. Obviously, the, the old life of sin has to be rethought. You know, God's called us to a new life. That's the picture of baptism in a believer's life, the old is done away. There's a new resurrection of a new person, resurrected in Christ. So repentance is about changing. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 9, and verse 13, it says, For I am not come to call the righteous, but for sinners to repentance. Didn't Jesus say the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which is lost? Yes. And that's to call them to repentance. Yes. Governor Neff of Texas visited the prison of that state and spoke to the assembled convicts. When he had finished, he said, John, that he would remain behind and listen if anybody wanted to speak to him, and he would gladly listen and not hold it against him. It would be in confidence even. When the meeting was over, a large group of men remained, many of them life-termers. One by one, they passed by, each telling the governor that there had been a frame-up, an injustice, a judicial blunder, and each asking that he be freed. Until finally one man came, John, and said, Mr. Governor, I just want to say that I'm guilty. I did what they sent me here for, but I believe I've paid for it. And if I were granted the right to go out, I would do everything I could to be a good citizen and prove myself worthy of your mercy. This, of course, was the man they said that the governor pardoned. Hmm. <laughs> Repentance, you know, understanding that you were wrong and you had to rethink and things are different. When you come to Christ, any man who's in Christ, the scripture says, is a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. That's 2 Corinthians 5.17. So then he says in Luke chapter 13 and 3, I tell you, nay, except you repent, you should all likewise perish. So Jesus is saying it's a necessary thing that they have to repent. Luke says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, the remissions of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So here he tells them to repent. And he tells them to be baptized, and they could have remission of sin, receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah, so the not, question is not, have you came and met Jesus? The question is a little deeper than that. You know, repentance is not just coming face-to-face -face with Jesus. Yes, a friend of mine, Brother Craig, told me just the other day that he don't ever say have a relationship with Jesus because you could have a relationship with Jesus, but it might not be a good relationship. But you have to repent of your sins. Yeah, Pilate had a relationship with Jesus, didn't he? Yes. Right before he crucified right before him. he crucified him. So it's not about your relationship. It's about true repentance, about truly coming to know him and re rethinking your life and surrendering that life to Christ, you know, living in Christ. The relationship has to be 
an in Christ relationship, not a knowledge relationship. Acts chapter 3 and verse 9, it says, Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out.